that the, the, the supporters gave me um, was absolutely incredible. I, I always knew I was coming to the stadium on a on a match day and there'd be supporters here, but to get that welcome was absolutely incredible. I didn't realise that uh, they, they'd show that much uh, support and affection. So it's, it's something that will live with me forever. I think I'm still running on, a little bit on adrenaline from the day, you know, and the, the support that I've received. So uh, maybe, maybe there will be that little downside when... Um, you know, I'll get home and sort of relax a little bit more. But uh, I'm, I'm, I'm pleased not to have to be getting up early tomorrow morning and running another, another 40 to 50 miles, I must admit. The family have been incredible to not just accompany me every day on the challenge itself, but, you know, the whole build-up, the months beforehand, the work that they've actually put in, the hard work they did on the challenge itself. But, you know, they, they were there to support me emotionally uh, as well as just in every other way on, on the challenge. And, and then the support team... Were, were, were amazing. You know, my physio Kelly and, and, and Dino from Forcom, the main sponsors, were were superb. And uh, you know, I, I quite literally couldn't have couldn't have completed the challenge. I don't think without them and all the other people that sort of dipped in and out and run some miles with me or sent a message of support. Uh, that you know, that that was what really helped me push me through back here to St Mary's. There's still you know opportunities to donate. We've we've raised over a hundred thousand pounds at this point. I hope that donations continue to come in because I'd, I'd obviously love to give uh, a bigger check as possible to Cancer Research UK, which is an incredible charity. And uh, like I say, make make all the, the painful steps throughout the challenge that much more worthwhile. It was coming.